Well, thank you guys for tuning in to Chicago Prayer and Hope. If you're either tuning in for the first time or tuning back in after a long time of being away, then I just want to extend a very warm welcome to you and just let you know, first and foremost, our purpose is to pray for you, then it's to share God's truth with you, then it's to create this into a community where you are known, loved, and valued. Well, thank you guys for tuning in. God is good. you believe it? Amen. I believe it as well. Today, friends, we're going to be talking about... Um, I'm going to be in Romans 12, verse 2. We're going to be talking about not conforming to the pattern of this world, but being changed by the renewing of our mind. So Romans chapter 12, verse 2. So if you have your Bibles, would you please flip along to that passage with us? Or turn on your Bibles. And if you're flipping that, let me put us up in a brief word of prayer. Then we'll jump into this word. Let's pray. God, speak to us now by this passage. God, help us be transformed by the renewing of our mind. That we may follow you, God, the rest of our lives. God, we love you, but we do not love you enough. So this is why we seek you now. Amen. You guys ready? Romans 12, verse 2 says this. Chapter 12, verse 2. It says, Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is. His good, and his good pleasing, and perfect will. Amen. Praise the Lord. What does this mean, friends, and how does it start out? It says, do not conform to the pattern of this world. It's saying do not conform to the pattern of this world. What, what does that mean? I want an example. Maybe the world is saying, hey, put your, all of your hope into money. Put all of your hope into fame, into wealth, into passions of this world. But that's not what God says. God put, says put all of our hope into him. The pattern of this world, it says, the pattern of this world, people say of this world is put all of your hope into money, but God says put all of your hope into me. So do not, con so the first thing is saying, do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of our mind. How are we transformed by the renewing of our mind? We are transformed by the renewing of our mind by being in prayer, by being in God's word daily. But be transformed by the renewing of our mind it says, after that, then it says, then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is. So, after we're transformed by the renewing of our mind, then we'll be able to test and see and approve what God's will is. His good, pleasing, and perfect will. So, what's my encouragement for you today? What's my challenge? What's the takeaway? The takeaway is this. Do not conform to the pattern of this world. As easy and as hard as, as, hard as it is, and as easy it is, because it is, it's so easy to conform to the pattern of this world. But it's also very hard to resist conforming. So it's hard and it's easy. Do you guys get it? Do you guys get it? Does that make sense? So as hard and as easy as it is to conform to the pattern of this world, I pray that we would not. I pray that we would press more into God when the world around us is calling us to give in to the presses of this world and the temptations of this world, I pray that we would go deeper into God, into His Spirit, into His love, into His Word, into prayer, and that we would learn to do His will. Because when, once you press into Him and go seek Him, renew our minds daily in Him, not by this world, but we'll renew our minds daily in Him, then we'll be able to see what He has in store for us. Amen? That's my encouragement for you today. I pray that we would be renewed by God. He wants to renew us. Would you let him? Amen? Let me give you, let me pray over you, then we'll close this video off. Father God, I just pray over these people watching this video, God, would you be with them right now, Lord? Be with them where they're at, Lord. Be with them on the struggles, on the journeys, on the hardships, God. Help them know that they, you were with them, God. God, if this is hitting home to someone, Lord, and they have never given their life to you, Lord, I pray they would do that right now by the sound of my voice. God, I pray they would say, God, I'm a sinner, Lord. God, I need you, Lord. So today I give my life to you for the first time. Cleanse me from my sin. And God, I just place my faith in you. I accept the work that you did on the cross. I believe who you are. And I give my life to you right now. Lord, if someone needs to come back to you, Lord, I pray they would say, God, I thought I could do this life of value, but Lord... I'm realizing more and more that I cannot. So, Lord, today I come back to you, Lord. And then I just pray for the believers continuing to go deeper into you, that they would continue to go deeper into you and not grow weary and just keep their eyes on what matters most, which is you. 
in your kingdom. God, we love you, but we do not love you enough. This is why we seek you right now. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Well, friends, if you guys need prayer or support, we are here to pray for you. We're here to talk to you. Friends, let's be renewed daily by God. And one way to be renewed by God, yes, I encourage you to get involved, but you can be renewed by God also by watching these videos. This is also a step. But I said this a while back ago. Do not just use these videos as your devotional time. These videos are a tool, but these videos are not to be replaced. Okay, I just watched Chicago Prayer and hope so I don't need to go read the Bible. No, you do need to read the Bible. So that's my encouragement for you today. If you need talk, need to talk or prayer, we are here to pray for you. God bless you and have a blessed day. Much love. Peace.